I'm making a quick video showing you how to remove the front bumper cover on a 2012 Audi Q7. First thing you want to do is pull these little push pins up top. This one here on this side, start with the outside and then get underneath it after that and then you can pull the whole thing out. Do, this, do the same on this side and then remove this upper cover. Those pins are out, you can kind of just pull up on this and it kind of hooks in the front this way. Then this just pushes straight down so it's not hard to, it's not hard to get out of there little barbs they they're pretty durable actually on these so just move that up out of your way and then you're going to want to pull these these screws right here this one this one and this one just a t30 what you want to do is get in the wheel well liner here and remove all these torque screws just on the front edge here this one this one this one and this one use a t25 bit pull all those out and then you can pull away a little bit. I'll show you what to do Pull next. back a little bit. You're going to want to pull. These are the same screw too. It's a T25. This one, this one down here, just here, here, and here, those three. And then the only thing left in the wheel well is this little plastic clip right here. You can see, I'll get something to point towards it. You can see this little clip here, this plastic thing that I'm doing a bad job of pointing at here. You have to push in the center of it and then you can pull the whole body of the clip out. So just push in the center from the bottom upwards and then you can kind of pry this whole thing down with a little, um, with a little grommet tool. Once that's, once that's out of there, you can pull this whole thing away. I'll show you what that looks like. Just underneath it and remove all these screws on this front edge here. This one here, you can see a lot of them are missing on this. And um, you can either go for these front ones or you can go back further and remove these screws here. So just all the, all the screws off the leading edge of this, you, better, you may as well just pull the uh, front belly pan off while you're under here too. All that stuff out of the way, the front end is pretty much loose. So you're gonna just kind of put something underneath it like this. I just have a garbage can under here and I'm just gonna kind of pull it off like this, let it rest there, that way I can Get it away far enough where I can unplug things. So it's not too bad. I um, I have some sensors here to disconnect and a couple little things. But, um, pretty easy, all in all. So that's it. That's how the bumper comes off. And um, the main connector is on the driver's side, or on, I'm sorry, on the passenger side. And um, this whole harness attaches on that on that side, which is kind of nice. So you'll just disconnect that right here. I'm sorry, there's a bunch of leaves and debris. It's not making it easy for me to show you, but right here, these two connectors, this one and this one, you can do this earlier, it actually make more sense. And then you can pull this whole thing away. A couple little things I forgot to show in the video. Um, it's very easy to pull it off like I was showing, but when I was going through the bolts in the wheel well here, the there's one further in that just another that goes through here through the wheel well liner that on, on each side that you have to pull off there but everything else is just how i showed there um you want to undo the connector kind of earlier than i did just on this particular one being that it's off in the corner like this it'd be a little easier if you get to that first and just kind of have the wires dangling that way you can just grab it right off there but other than that it's a pretty easy job so thanks for watching